but I can surely tell you that unfortunately today, many role models are planting the idea of gamesmanship instead of sportsmanship into the heads of you all, young athletes. So I want to ask you, anyone familiar with the word gamesmanship out there? Well, the first time I was introduced to the word gamesmanship was at the pro level. All through high school at McDonough. Anybody know what McDonough is? Played against the school? That's where I went, in Owings Mills. All through McDonough and all throughout the University of Maryland. It was all about sportsmanship until I got to the pros. The idea of gamesmanship is commonly known as the art of winning, pushing the rules to the limit and using whatever, whatever means to get it done, to get the advantage, to get the advantage over your opponent. You know, I can remember when I was in Europe, in Greece actually, playing for um, the team Academia in Thessaloniki. And um, when, in Europe, when they bring athletes over there, as some of you may, you know, have the opportunity to venture to Europe to play your sport, they want you to come over there and to help them do one thing, and that's win. So in the locker room, the coach starts to talk in his Greek language. And I knew a little bit of Greek, but I had a translator that was there with me. And after he finished explaining to the team what he wanted, he broke down and, and I, asked, I, I asked her, what did, what did he actually say? I heard a little bit, rebound, assist, play back, you know, just play the game. You know what he told the team? You do whatever it takes to get Sonia open, even if it takes setting illegal picks and setting illegal screens. That's gamesmanship at its best. A serious, serious word, and if too literally taken, could lead to potential injury, ending a high school, college, or even pro athlete's career. So, ask yourself, what if you or someone you cared about becomes just that victim because of gay?